Hey you folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris. It is relatively early in the morning, and in a few hours, I leave on a flight to England, uh, as I mentioned in the last video, but I was like, you know, I got time for another couple episodes of Stellaris, right? God, this game, super sick addictive. Uh, actually played uh, last night after after I was done recording. Still wanted to keep playing, so I did, and at some point I found out that Briarstone and A Kiss for Luck, everyone in the house, were playing Stellaris. They were like, hey, let's do some multiplayer. So we did that, and actually learned a few more things. Um, one thing, first of all, is I assumed that since you can only build like mining stations and research stations within your actual borders, I assumed that applied to most everything, except of course, um, uh, Frontier Outposts, right? Which is what we're building here in Cotter, outside of our current borders, for example. Well, as it turns out, you can also build wormhole stations outside of your borders. You can even build wormhole stations inside of your allies' territory. Well, actually, I think you can build it anywhere where you technically have the ability to move. So I think if you got open borders or someone, I think you would be allowed to build wormhole stations within their empire. And then, uh, but I'm not sure about that. I haven't tested it. But you can even build wormhole stations in systems that haven't been scouted yet or surveyed. It's like the only thing, as far as I can tell, that you can build in a system that you haven't surveyed. Now, one thing we haven't discovered yet, uh, we haven't uh, discovered the tech for the defense stations yet. Basically, it sounds like like a forward star base that can defend itself. Uh, I don't know, I assume that one can be built with somewhat more relaxed rules as well, but I haven't tested it yet. So that might have affected our rate of expansion here because we can build, wormhole stations build very quickly. They're cheap to build, they're relatively cheap to maintain. Um, and so we may have done a little bit more of forward movement with that, but I I'm not sure how much it would have affected this game, but it is good to know going forward. I'm really, really loving wormhole tech more and more and more. So I'm still okay with building the base here in Cotter because currently there's not a habitable planet over here. Um, and taking this should also allow us to claim a Hadron... Hodranus, which is now well, technically inside of the Velmanex Confederacy. But who knows how the borders might go. Yeah, we probably won't get it after all. But it'll still let us build some... Uh, some bases over here so and with that energy it'll mostly pay for itself so that'll probably be okay all right we are currently building up our uh our war fleet for an attack on the whole fear combined commonalities over here uh we are upgrading our spaceport in sudbari to level three so that we can start building destroyers charles is already level three and starting to build destroyers uh, i'm having to like remind myself where I am in this game versus some others since the research is non-linear. All right, we don't have destroyer assembly yards, which is nice, just like the Corvette ones, but lets you build destroyers faster and cheaper. It's nice to be able to specialize your star bases, have one that can build Corvettes cheaper, have one that can build destroyers cheaper, and then build those particular things, assuming you still want to build Corvettes, which you may or may not need to. Uh, basic combat rolls are fine, blockers good, space torpedoes good. Oh, I want to take a pass on my, my surface over here because we have a fair amount of minerals. And, um, yeah, we're about to pop this population here, and it's not working anything. I'm going to clear the sprawling slums over there so we've got somewhere to put things. And then um, I'm also... I think we're good on food here. Yeah, so we got a population of 14. It's about to hit 15. Uh, we've got a cap of 16, and we've got lots of extra food right now. So I definitely don't need any more food. So over here, I'm going to build... Oh, the mineral processing plant. So we've got the mining networks, which give you two minerals. This also gives you two minerals. It's quite a bit more expensive to build, but it also gives you a planet-wide modifier of 10% boost to mineral production, which is good. Um, the downside is uh, I suspect we get the next level of mining network a little faster than this one. So, you know, we might get more from the base, but the 10% boost I think is good. So I'm going to build it. Um, in this tile here, it's going to suppress the food, but that's okay. I don't need any more food. Plus, no matter what, we'll get better hydroponic farms later on, which probably means we'll be able to clear more and more of these tiles currently dedicated to food and have them do something else instead. So we're going to do that. Um, so that's in the queue. So first, we're moving the blocker. Second, we're queuing that up. We want to build something here as well. Uh, we won't need that population quite yet. Maybe I don't need to rush that. I'm wondering if I uh, want to queue up a couple of these upgrades. I'm going to do the energy. Uh, our energy output's pretty good right now, but we are about to build up a larger fleet. So no, I think it'll actually be quite good to go ahead and upgrade at least one. We may hold off. Let's take a look at Charlesy and how you're doing. Yeah, we haven't really developed things as well as we could have over here. We've got two, yeah, two units of population working in unimproved tile, which is no good. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this and not queue anything else up, so then I'll get the notice that it's finished its queue, and then we'll move a population to work this massive glacier instead. 
Well, it won't be a massive glacier anymore, but it'll be a pretty decent tile, and then we'll also go and build some extra farms after that, which will be good. Norwegian Blue, how you doing? You do have a unit population, not working any building, and another one soon. You actually still need more food, Norwegian Blue, because you're only, yeah, you're only making a surplus of two. So at the very least, we should pop this tile and probably build a farm there. And then we might want to build a farm on another tile. Maybe even just clear this one, which has no base production, but with the expectation to build a farm there. We'll come back to you. Arkesh, again, not really doing anything. Oh, we'll clear this glacier here. Good tile. Really good tile under that. And same thing, I won't queue anything up, so I'm reminded to finish. Uh, here we've got a lot of space. This is not improved. I think we're going to go and put a hydroponics farm there. Oh, I think in one of my previous videos, I was like, how do you resettle? I don't remember how that works. Uh, it's from here. With the population selected, there's a resettle button here. But you can only resettle to and from planets that have a planetary administration. To get a planetary administration, you have to upgrade your reassembled ship shelter. And you can only do that once you hit a population of five on a planet. Both planets, the, the source planet and the destination planet, has to have a planetary administration, which means you can't settle a planet and then rush sending population over there, because it has to get up to at least population 5 first. There might be other ways to move population, but none that I am aware of. There's the, the automatic sort of migration and resettlement, although I bet you they need planetary administration for that as well. Okay, so we're building a forward base here, we're planning on doing that, we're expanding our things. I don't know, I'm pretty good about our situation, I'm pretty happy about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause. What's our situation looking like? Battle wreckage complete. complete. Right, more artifacts to get there. More critters, but we don't have border access to any of those people. They're on foreign territories. So that'll be tricky. Space torpedoes finished. And what can we get next? I could unlock the defensive platform station. So this is another thing we can build with constructors defensive deep space platform far from the gravity wells of a planetary body. So I don't know if that means we can build this in neutral territory or simply the fact that it doesn't have to be around a planet or, or how it works, but it's a relatively fast research. I'm going to go and pop this so that I can figure out how it works and I'll be good with that. Construction ship in Cotter just finished its, um, its frontier outpost, which we may or may not have needed. I will definitely be building a, um, a wormhole station here. Just got to find, there it is. It's hard to tell if you're not looking straight down when exactly you're outside of the gravity well. So I'm going to do that. I always like to build my wormhole stations back towards my holdings for two reasons. Um, one, it means if any enemies come into the system using normal means, typically they will warp in on the closest side to them, so they're furthest away from the wormhole station. And not only that, if I am wormholing in, um, well, I mean, if I'm using this wormhole station to activate my transfer, I will arrive next to the wormhole station regardless. But if I'm actually, if I, let's say I'm in uh, Skate over here and I'm wormholing out of this, I think I'll be using this wormhole station to launch myself, in which case I'll just arrive on the closest point in the system, which means I'll be near the wormhole station again, because defending that is going to be one of our priorities in these wars. That's, that's the thing with the wormholes. They're very fast and actually have pretty decent range, but you have to defend the actual structures. They're a vulnerability in war. Complete. That's part of the reasons I want those defensive platforms, too, because maybe I can cover the wormhole stations with that. And, I mean, they might not be the most powerful things ever, although I think you can design them. I think once they're unlocked, I think you can build them in the ship design over here. Construction ship in Terabellum is done. I think we might just go and set up the mining stations here again. They'll be a little vulnerable being on the front. Alternatively, I could go and build a wormhole station inside my allies' territory. I think that's actually a really good idea. I'm going to do it right in the middle of the territory here, oh, which is actually on the border of my uh, my wormhole range. Anyway, I couldn't build one here, um, but I wouldn't want one right on the front, not another one. This is a backup one that's a little safer, and that'll actually be, I believe, in their capital. So yeah, you are going to come and build a wormhole station in my allies' territory, expanding our reach greatly and allowing me to cover that whole area should something happen and they'll give me redundancy coming into their system here, which is great. Finish that. Oh, they want to turn the Alliance into a Federation. Now, what's interesting about that, as far as I understand it, is it does mean that the war declarations, whoever the Alliance leader is, so right now we have to vote when wars happen, but in a Federation, that no longer needs to happen. It's whoever the leader of the Federation is gets to do that. But apparently it cycles. 
So everyone in the Federation gets a turn to be the leader. I don't know how frequently it does it, or how it works. I'm scared of forming the Federation, but at the same time, I think we've got to see how it works. So what the hell, I'll vote yes. We now have a Federation. So it's got a new icon. Uh, they're the president, because they started it. Next rotation in... 10 years, and I'm not next. So does this mean I my whole war plans... I can't declare war. Can I, like, talk to the, the Federation president and say, hey, you know what would be cool? Federation ship designer. Right, they control... Do they control all the fleets? This might, this might have been a mistake. Well, no, I still control my fleets. But do we share all the tech? So if I do this, yeah, I can still control my own individual tech fleet. Oh, we have an employment somewhere. Right, right over here, because we're still clearing that blocker. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Arrested development. Good job, Governor. You're getting crap trait. Where are you? Complete. Where are the traits listed for the Governor? Construction complete. Leaders. There you go. Oh, it's the one in Sudbury. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, I can't actually see your trait, but what's what's this? Leader experience gain. Oh, so you can never gain any more experience points. Yeah, right. It's not the worst thing ever. Um, gain a level. Construction complete on Norwegian blue. And then we are... Oh, we're starting to lose money. Let me pause for a second here because things are happening. Norwegian blue still got to grow. I think we want to go ahead and upgrade. Oh! Oh! We, we've reached a population for planetary administration. So this is great because it produces more food than the base building. And will also give us uh, minerals, and will give adjacency bonuses. Not not here. It's only to food, minerals, and energy. But it is something for sure. Um, so we could build a research lab here, but it's not it's not necessarily the priority that we want. Right. We cleared this blocker. We're going to be building another hydroponics farm over here. Is what we're going to be doing. And I'm going to move this character to over there. It doesn't mean this building's not being worked, but that's okay. And you go there. Alright. Good. You've got unemployment. Uh, we can shuffle you here and do that. So you won't complain about being unemployed. Although we aren't, don't actually need that extra food at this time. I think we still have things in a queue. Yeah, we still have a couple of things in the queue over here. Which is good. I guess I'll just... I'll make a pass over the buildings again. So, I'm generally okay with this. Charlesy still needs more food. I mean, it's running a, a surplus right now, but it's got a lot of population to grow. May as well build the food buildings on top of... Are you... Wait, hold... I don't want basics hydroponics. I want the ones that give you the two. Oh, I don't have enough minerals. Now, it requires planetary administration, so... Is it queued up? Where's my... Ship shelter. How come I can't upgrade this? Because I don't have the minerals. Okay, that will be that should be our priority on Charles E's actually uh, building that. So maybe I'll, I'll stop some of my building. Um, we are building some ships here. So just selecting the two of them, I can go and combine them up. That's going to be good. Hmm. So... Damn it. I should have formed the coalition, so I'd have to first crack at stuff. So these guys... Where are you? So that's you there. My little border's here. Can I flag, like, country provinces of interest? Not really. I mean, I suppose I can still, you know, be expanding and stuff. There's still lots I can do. 
These guys being my allies, I should really build a warp gate in their territory. Uh, it looks like this is probably the best place for that. Recruitment of armies are done. We located some more people, so me meeting some more of these nations. Research complete on the basic combat roles and assist research. Oh, that's our science ships. We can get them to assist research instead of surveying, but we've got a lot of work for them to do. I think I would like to discover a new unique resource. I mean, we can get some of these quite quickly, but I'm not sure that they're useful for us. The damage is not that impressive on these little projects. Sentinel point defense component... Might be worthwhile for anti-missile stuff. But no, let's, uh, let's reveal a new resource and see what we can do. And I will go ahead and... Oh, investigate the giant skeleton. We're going to wait for one of our science ships to become idle before we do that. Actually, it might be in one of the systems that they're currently surveying, so we'll get a pop-up after that. Uh, recruitment of armies is done, so we've got four invasion force. Not very many, but apparently we're not actually doing any conquest quite yet. Research complete. You know, I'm really thinking of leaving the Federation. I won't have any allies anymore. Are these... Do these guys have any allies? Like, they're so vulnerable! Arr! Joining the Federation was a huge mistake. Well, now we know... What do I want here? Nuclear missiles, start unlocking that. Right now they don't have much DPS, but we could go to the next version of it. Plasma thrower... Oh, thrusters! Ah, uh, that's interesting! You know what, I'll grab that. It's kind of a... Well, this is actually really cheap. But then it starts going down the missile queue. No, I'm going to grab the missile thrusters. And we want... The better hydroponic farms are nice, but I think we've got to prioritize getting all the tile unblockers, and I know we've got some of that kicking around. Trade deal expired. Well, we should see about... <sighs> Getting research agreements all my buddies. Really? And you won't trade. We're in a federation, and you still won't just, like... Research agreement. I actually have more on... I have more techs. That you would take advantage of by doing this. Why are you being such a douche nozzle? I'm getting a bit bitter, you guys. A bit salty about this this federation. It would have been better if we hadn't formed it. Although the vote was still going that way. I don't know if it has to be unanimous or what. I think I'm going to leave the federation. Okay, doesn't work for me. Right, we just got booted out of some systems here. Fine. They're just going to return home. Because I can't build the uh, warp stations there. Oh! New election. Alright. New leader. Cool. Done. Uh, we are currently running low on money. Station maintenance. 46. Wow. Well, I guess we do have a lot of different things that makes some amount of sense. The... Does the Frontier Outpost cost us money? System survey doesn't actually tell us here, but I assume it does. System survey done. Okay, so we've got an anomaly here. I send a science station, or a science ship, to go and check that out. We're going to continue to group up our fleets over here. And we need to build more ships. Money be damned. Build me more destroyers. Oh. Although that does mean I can't build the uh, colony administration on Charlesy, but uh, leaving the Federation was something I had to do because I'm doing warfare, so I better go ahead and do the warfare. Evading hostile fleet. Hostile fleet present. 452. Oh, in this system. Really? Okay. Well, we do have a fleet that could take it. I should probably wait until... I don't know. We could probably go and do it now. Just 
just going to combine this fleet. We'll have uh, almost 700 versus their 450. We might lose a ship, but probably will be okay. We don't have any relevant upgrades for our ships. I mean, maybe the plasma thrusters, but that's about it. The ship designer, I don't think there's anything else to do to Anxiety Girl over here. Now, we could replace it with space torpedoes, which do have... They do have higher DPS. They can be shot down by point defense. Now, are people actually in packing point defense? I don't know. I certainly am not planning on upgrading my current design. Or, like, my current ships. So, the Yetlerian Coalition declared war on an unidentified empire. Well, good for them. Battlefleet, you have an admiral and everything. Oh, yeah, the lowered ship upkeep one. Not terribly sexy, but there it is. You guys all merge up. Actually, what I'll do is I'm going to send out the battlefleet to over here. And tell you guys to be on aggressive. When you come over here, you can blow up the space crystal or amoeba or whatever it is. And then we'll send out some science ships again. Oh, yeah. You over here are going to go to Cotter and build... You're going to focus specifically on the energy one first. Build mining station. And yeah, it looks like I can build these military stations wherever I want in the system. Can I build it in a system that is not in my border? So I've explored Botan, but it's not actually in my border. Can I build a military station here? I can. Can I build it in a system I haven't actually surveyed yet? I can. Okay. So military stations and wormhole stations are, well, I guess, you know, just space stations that you can build anywhere. Very good information. Science ship, uh, I guess you'll have to wait a little while before that gets explored, so we may as well just go and take a look at the system over here. Other construction ship. Could build some more forward wormhole stations down here. Or right over here, but that would be a bit vulnerable. So we can't actually cover their entire thing, but we can go after their capital as is. So I think that that's probably okay. I guess, do I want to build the defensive station on a front line here? No, I think I'm okay. Just looking to see if there's anything I would want to build here. No. All right, I'm good. We'll leave that construction ship idle for now. That's going to be perfectly fine. All right. We have a battle fleet. It's coming along pretty well. If we take a look at you, they are inferior to us. So yeah, we should definitely prioritize getting some warfare soon. I'll pop this crystal. Uh, we'll finish the current construction queue, which is almost done. Actually, Charlesy, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade. Get you your planetary administration started, which I think is going to be very good for us. We're definitely losing some money over here. Ship maintenance got up, but it's mostly the station maintenance, which is just crazy sauce. You finish your surface construction queue. Excellent. Um, no one's working that tile yet, uh, I could, I think I will move you over there. Mostly you still need food. And these guys can all be upgraded, it's probably worth, does, it, oh, the hydroponic farm not cost us any maintenance? Let's see here, if I were to build a regular hydroponics farm, can I still build the basic one? Apparently, I can't build the basic one anymore. I was just curious if it's going to cost us maintenance or not. Um, I guess we'll upgrade the, the energy providing tool tile. That's probably a good idea. And you guys haven't grown enough. Um, perhaps, though, build a basic power plant there. And... Transfer future pop over there. Try to get a bit more money. You can be upgraded as well, because it's energy shortage that's the problem right now. And we're actually building something over here. Okay, well, that'll have to do. Still losing money right now, but I think we'll be able to reverse that pretty easily. Who needs an alliance? Not me. I don't know, it was actually pretty good. I wonder if I could ask to join the Federation again after I'm finished my warfare. They're probably going to be bothered by my aggressive expansion. Okay, battle group. Complete. Oh, we finished the skeletal remains, gaining a bunch of experience and some physics research. Wonderful. Right, this is the game where I have the cruiser as well. I forgot about that. 
We've got a cruiser and a handful of destroyers in here. And apparently there's some conflict. Space nomads are being attacked and are doing a pretty good job of clearing out these amoebas. Wow. Oh, although I think they're just dying now. But the amoebas are severely weakened, so we should be able to blow them up after this. Is this not... Hold on, I'm confused. Was this not where we had the, uh, the, the skeleton? I guess not. I guess this is just something I want to survey. Which is still pretty legitimate. Okay, we'll do that. Fleet engaged. Research complete. So we should be able to take care of these heavily, heavily damaged space amoebas without losing anything. And indeed, that is the case. So this battle group has taken a little bit of damage. We'll go ahead and repair the fleet. Quite a hop to get there, actually. We might want to forward um, star base. But there's really... I mean, we don't have a habitable planet over here, so there's not really an option for that. Uh, I'm going to keep researching things to remove more tile blockers. Hey, there's our ability to form our own federation. With blackjack and hookers. Actually, forget the federation. Um, I, I, I feel like we can probably declare war. I'll, I'll go ahead and do the repair. That's probably fine. Norwegian Blue finished its queue. We're almost not losing money anymore. Hooray! We might... Uh, I think actually we will want more ground troops to actually successfully complete this. So... I'm going to go ahead and build a whole bunch. We may or may not need a ground invasion. I, I've, I've done some warfare at this point, and it turns out you actually can win a lot of wars without ever putting boots on the ground. So we may be able to do that. If we just like are able to destroy their entire orbital fleet and all their buildings and then lay, you know, do some bombardment, we're going to be all right. So we'll have to decide if we, what we want to do is take over their planets or vassalize them. They're pretty big. They've got four systems. So I think we'll just go for a vassalization. Uh, because we're going to need to make that a sector regardless. Anomaly over here, 5% failure risk. Research. Please and thank you. And, oh, that's some debris. System survey complete. Well, there we go. We have an idle science ship. Now, I don't know if that debris is a priority. Well, I don't know. Those space amoebas may have left something interesting behind. So we'll give it a go. System survey done. Construction ship's currently idle. I mean, I know I can get the minerals over there. Uh, and I can get some research over here, too. But I'm trying to keep my cost down for a bit, so I'm going to hold off. Battle fleet is fully repaired. So we're going to move you back to the front. I'm not going to move out with my assault troops yet. I'll build a bigger number. The probability conundrum. We've gotten a report from science officer Hask Endek. It seems that a ceramic container is circling the star Ample Deer. Most peculiar. It should be. It should obviously not be there, yet somehow it has managed to find a way into a close orbit. A special project can be issued to investigate the container and try to deduce how it ended up there. Yeah, conundrum worth investigating. Updated. So, we need a science ship. Any science ship. You are just moving. Oh, you're moving to the debris in that system. Okay, well, we'll wait for you to finish. That's fine. Fully repaired, right? Money's still a thing. That's okay. All right, we'll put a cut in here. Next episode, we go and declare war on these guys. Sans Alliance. Sans Federation. Because that did not work out. We'll have to be very careful about joining Federations later on. It's good to know. We're still, of course, learning all the mechanics. And I knew some of them, but I didn't realize it was a 10-year cycle. 10 years is longer than I'm willing to wait for my expansion. I got plans. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.